kids, welcome to week four, day two. We are reading, our highlight verse is Genesis 29, 21 through 25. Genesis 29, 21 through 25. So get out your Bibles or read along with me on the screen. First, we'll look at the King James Version. Genesis 29, 21 through 25. And Jacob said unto Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. And it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah his daughter and brought her to him, and he went in unto her. And Laban gave unto his daughter Leah, Zilpah his maid, for an handmaid. And it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, What is this thou hast done unto me? Did not I serve with thee for Rachel? Wherefore then hast thou beguiled me? Genesis 29, 21-25 Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version. Genesis 29, 21 through 25. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife. I've completed my time. I want to sleep with her. So Laban brought all the people of the place together and had a feast prepared. But when evening came, he gave his daughter Leah to Jacob, and Jacob slept with her. Laban gave his female servant Zilpah to his daughter as her servant. When Jacob woke up the next morning, there was Leah next to him. So he said to Laban, What have you done to me? I worked for you so I could marry Rachel, didn't I? Why did you trick me? Genesis 29, 21-25 This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen. He got tricked, didn't he? Well, let's go to our explain section in our foundations book. It says, Jacob loved Rachel and wanted to marry her, but Laban tricked him into marrying Leah instead. Now remember, Laban is Leah and Rachel's dad. Now, Jacob agreed to work for Laban seven more years so he could marry Rachel. So after he was tricked, he still wanted to marry Rachel, and he agreed to work seven more years to be able to take her hand in marriage. So Jacob had tricked his own brother and father, and then he himself was tricked. That's interesting. Think of, I, did, I never thought of it that way. Jacob, remember Jacob and Esau, Jacob tricked his father and his brother to get the blessing from his dad. Now, here he is getting tricked. Hmm, that is very interesting. Jacob had been a deceiver among his own family. Now, I don't know if you remember, but the name Jacob means deceiver. Now Laban tricked Jacob. God was still working on Jacob's heart to bring Jacob back to him. So if you remember, God showed Jacob in the yesterday's lesson that no matter what, I'm still going to give you my blessing. I'm still going to deliver on my promise to Abraham and it holds true to you too. It doesn't matter that you messed up. God is still faithful. Okay, now we'll go to the apply section. While Jacob and Laban were tricking people, God was still working on his promise. God can use us even after we sin because he has the power to change our hearts and our, our attitudes. 
you can discuss it with your mom and dad or with your grandma and grandpa, whoever is in the home with you. You can discuss what attitude that God can help you change. Now let's respond. Bow your heads. Father God, I love you. I praise your holy name. Thank you so much for having the power to change my heart and attitude. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. 1 John 3.18 The King James Version My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. 1 John 3.18 3.18 Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version. 1 John 3.18 Dear children, don't just talk about love. Put your love into action. Then it will truly be love. 1 John 3.18 This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen.